We have 6ix9ine, Esquad Affiliate, Rough Bomb. He's also the golfer. Yeah. 6ix9ine, boy, I bet you you be stroking them goddamn balls, huh, uh, Rough Bump? Rough Buff love going uh, golfing. He'd be start massaging them balls down, huh? <laughs> we have another Esquad Affiliate. He goes by the name of BS3 Sports out of Dallas, Texas. The cowgirl land. He is a cowgirl fan. We got Big Ben up in the house. What's up, Ben? That's right. That's my arch rival. You know, I can't give him that much love. I give him a little Esquad love. But when it comes down to sports, it ain't no love at all. Next in the house, we have the architect. One of the architect. We have the brains. The IT man. He also... A celebrity of his own kind. He has a show called Kicking with the Keith C. We have Mr. Keith C. Ingram up in here. X gonna give it to ya. What's up, Keith C? Next in the house, we got a real cash ranger. He's another most wanted in here in this podcast land. But this man right here seems to squibble through anything. He got that New York seal up for the New York Knicks. Go, Knicks, go. He's from Charlotte, North Carolina. He goes by the name of the Big Apple Bastard. And with the name Big Apple Bastard, boy, that makes you wonder why you keep from going under. Yeah. Yeah, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. I know y'all ready to get started. We got next X squad affiliate. He goes by the name of Team Management. He also goes by the name of Christopher Tracy. He also goes by the name of Togo. Who the fuck is Togo? That's that boy from Africa. Oh, yeah, that's him. But anyway, we got Team Management. He has a show called The Lonely Heart Cafe. Comes on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. If your heart is lonely and your soul is lost, get in touch with Team Management and they will direct you to The Lonely Heart Cafe with the Honorable Deacon Aloysius Forever Love. And Christopher Tracy. Yes, sir. Moving on. We got my main man out of 904. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got Gideon Road Finest. What's up, my brother? I got to get down there to J-Ville. Thank you for coming in. And he brought a bottle of something up in here. What you got? A bottle, bottle of some type of shit. Hey, I'm scared to ask what it is. But anyway, we got Gideon up in here. Next we have... The young lady of X Squad Affiliate. The young lady that gets all the <clears throat> internet information now. Any type of information you want to know. She also knows her sports. She's everything in the 305. Miami do or die. We have X Squad Affiliate. Miss Mocha Bella. What's up Mocha? Hey mommy. Thank you for joining me. We got Debo up in the house. Debo in the house. We got from the Gulf originally. He stayed down in that St. Pete, Tampa Bay area. He's a great brother. You fuck with him, he's a big brother. He lay down. We got my main man, 334 Bama boy. What's up, Bama? You can take that eight shirt off. They ain't doing shit. Y'all legend is done. The legend of... <clears throat> That Bama Road Tie Road is done. Y'all done. You, you busted low last year and you lost in the championship game. Next in the mic, we have my main man coming up. He called his name. He said he goes by the name of Stoney. But I see him as called as Sydney Action Jackson. What's up, Sid? Thank you for coming in. Next in the house, oh my God. Start spreading the news. Because we ain't seen this brother in about 20 years. I see him dip and dab here and there. But he's out of Atlanta. And we got my main man, OG Dion. What up, OG? OG in the house. It's going to be some shit stirred up today. OG up in there. I guess as long as you don't talk about them Falcons and Hawks, you cool. Next in the house, we got my main man, JY3. I know he's down here in the A too. If you're down in the A, let me know. But I figured a majority of y'all know that's down here in the A. But I think JY3 is in the A. That's right. We need to know everybody in the A. Next in here, 
showing nothing but some booty. We got the main man out of that DMV area. He said he's T early Wednesday. Doug. What I mean by early Wednesdays on Wednesdays on the Doug Stewart Show SMA TDSS. Uh, they have Ladies Wednesdays. And the fellas show a picture, a nice picture of a woman and they have. And T Dub said he do it early. T Dub said, fuck a Wednesday, it's Monday. I'm coming in here showing all form. You ain't lying about that, boy. Yeah. But I got bitch Tiffany got something to say about that one. Yeah, thank you, Trey. Tracy, keep mamas in prayer. He got my mama in prayer. Thank you, my son. <clears throat> yeah. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Next in the house, we have a graduated. She just graduated, got a master's degree. She's a Georgia alum. She knows her sports. She's a true Georgia fan. Don't get her wrong, but she gonna put you down. We have the lovely Thorny switch up in here. What's going on, Thorny? She said she got her ears on. That's what's up, baby. You in the office? Tell a couple of rest of them in that office to get their ears on too. Because we're going we gonna to talk about some stuff today. That's right. And if you got anything you want to speak on, because, um, you know, Chief don't hesitate from subjects. So if you got a subject you want to speak on, speak on. Next in the house, we have my main man, Georgia Tech alum, a Boston Celtic Glover. He's from out there in South Carolina, Chucktown area. We had Chucktown Frank up in here. He said, damn, Vernon, you going to do Greg o the Great like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he ain't the Great over here, Frank. That's his, that's his uh, intro. At least on this show, that's his intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we just got about just about everybody that's up in here. Oh, no, we got a real cast ranger up in here. He's from out of Yonkers, New York. Yeah, he's also a podcaster himself. He has a show called the Everyday People, the, Spic the Strictly Ghetto Show. You know, he's a good troller because he's going to come up in here and troll if you ain't saying the right thing. He goes by the name of Gary G. Money Joyner. What's up, G. Money? From straight out of Yonkers. You know, Yonkers got DMX, Mary J., you know, they got a couple of good people out there, locks. Yeah, let me move on, move on. I, I can feel somebody in here going to correct me on one of those. But I think they're all from Yonkers. But anyway, we're going to move on. I think we got everybody. Oh, no, we forgot somebody. We got we got the man from down out of Little Rock. He had squad affiliate. He always shouting out, Shot Town, Shot Town, South Side, Shot Town. Yeah. He may have one of the biggest heads in the chat, but he's a good guy. He always participating, and he loves to fuck with you. We got Big L, S Squad affiliate up in the house. What's up, Big L? Yeah, that's right. Chief Rocker don't have no pity on nobody. I'm going to tell it like it is. Next, next, next. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. We got another celebrity up in there. S Squad affiliate. He calls his show the wait a minute show. What we waiting for? We waiting for one motherfucking minute. So Lopez can get in there. I'm here, I'm here. We got the wait a minute show. Jahani, X squad affiliate up in there. Next in the house. Maybe you'll know who this is by this. We got my main man out of Tennessee. Volunteer country. He also is a cowgirl fan, too. I don't know how that happened, being from the mountains of Tennessee. We got my main man, Truck D, in the house. What's up, Truck D? Kind of early today. Truck usually come people shows late because he ain't got a good clock in his truck. He on D people time. <laughs> uh, uh, Trey said, I hear your son in the background. That's my intern. He ain't my son when the show going. He my intern. Uh, Rough Buffs said, laugh out loud. Intern in that background cracking up. <laughs> yeah. Boy, y'all got some good. Either y'all got some good ears, I got a good system. 
But anyway, I didn't talk got to everybody in here, the celebrities. So we're going to move on. First and foremost, it's a, uh, Mocha Bell said, Chief sound funny making that truck sound. <laughs> yeah, I got my own sound effects, Mocha. I don't need to find none of that shit, man. You know, uh, <clears throat> uh, Jelani said, Mocha, Lopez said, he will eat it, but he's more of, oh, shit. Uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> uh, the latest news, latest news. Da -da 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 there has been a contract put out on Zaza Patrol. Yeah, you heard me? It has been a contract put out on Zaza. That's why Zaza is not playing in San Antonio. They put a fake injury report out saying that he's hurt. He's no more hurter than my feelings because it went from sunshine to cloudy as a motherfucker out here. It's about to rain. So, he is not hurt. Uh, Zaza, they after you. They want to get you. But the bad part about the whole thing is, I can't make a joke out of this part right here, is they had to go to the school to protect his kids and his wife at her job. Because these San Antonio fans are not no joke. They are wanting to put some hands on Zaza. And anybody that's affiliated with him, they want to put some hands on him. Because Zaza, you did the wrong wrong by taking out a team best player. See, back in the days when things wasn't so sensitive like it is, that was like, fuck it, one man down, next man step up. But these days, you ain't got a motherfucking step up. They don't know how to step up. You got too many crybabies out here in sport today. You know? So, by him taking out Kawhi Leonard, San Antonio, then lost everything. One man make you lose everything. Make you play like shit. Because you played like shit the first game and the second game. No, no. You played good the first game because he was there. But once he went out, you got crappy as hell. You start sitting on yourself. You start getting nervous. The ball was like a hot potato was going all around the court. And then next thing you know, you, 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 you let him back in the game. You let the DeBarge brother, Stephen Curry, just ease his way back in the goddamn game. And then goddamn Kevin Durant, who ain't got no goddamn heart. You know what I'm saying? When he went to the Wizard to ask for a heart, the Wizards said, only way you'll keep a heart if you play with that tough brother named Russell Westbrook at OKC. He said, no, I don't want to go there. He said, well, I'll tell you what you do. You go play with those weak ass, heartless ass uh, ninjas down there in uh, Oakland, California, Golden State, and uh, you see me when you want to get a real heart put in. So uh, we'll wait on that one. But uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> nobody knew how to step up for San Antonio. They went home. They played a good game, but they couldn't play a fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, everybody was gun. Uh, fucking um, Ginobili, oh, man, he, he about need the uh, respirator now. He probably sat home the whole weekend sucking air because he, he didn't gave all he can. You know, but anyway, uh, let me see. Grego said, uh, Grayson Allen, which his... Trip foot was as strong as Zaza. Uh, I don't know who, who Grayson Allen is. But anyway, we got two more celebrities in the house. From the DMV via Tampa, Florida. Coming in the Chief Rocker house. His palace. We got J.B. Jennings. Coming in saying, Kaboom! That's right, you stepped up in the room. And also, he brought in my main man out of Duluth, Minnesota. He's a boxing extraordinaire. He know about these sports too. He's a quiet man. He sneaks in the chat room. He goes by the name of R.C. Camera. What's up, R.C.? Sluggo said, uh, if this was hockey, then forces would take care of the situation. But in basketball, they'd be, concerned th they'd be considered thugs. So I guess he just hurt with no <coughs> ramification. Yeah, you're right about that, Sluggo, but I remember time, man. You know what I'm saying? You heard of Nick. You heard of Detroit Piston back in the day. You had Oakley, Maha. You heard, uh, let me see, what other teams was out there that was kind of tough, man, that had those, um, had people that was out there. Man, Jordan had protectors out there at times, man. Before Oakley went to New York, he was in Chicago. 
But uh